this is important, Stan. What you're about to say can lead to knowing what happened to Michael, so unless you're 100% sure oh, listen, about your I'm facts, sure. don't even... I am sure. The money trail from Faith to the sniper was complicated, but I was able to trace it back to where it started. And? I don't think it's what you want to hear. The assassin that took out Faith was on Sandoval's payroll. And unfortunately, they're in the mark. So you're telling me the only lead to Michael is a dead end? I thought... That's it. This is where it ends, Sam. What the hell was I even thinking about? You needed to know what happened the to Michael. Chasing down answers was just a way for me not to face it! You know what, Sonny was right. It's time for me to face it. Jason, you were following your instincts. You trust them and you should. So if that voice inside of you is telling you that this journey is over, then you need to let go and move on with your life. But I do not think that that is what you believe. Sam, I get that you're being supportive. And I appreciate it, but I don't need any more false hope. I wanted the facts, and that's what I got. That is the last thing I want to give you. But I do not want you to discount your intuition either. You live by it, so do I, and it served us well. Look, when you first started looking for Michael, you said something critical, Jason. Assume nothing. Believe only what we could see and prove. Remember? Yes, I remember. Okay. All right. Well, then let, let, let's think it through from the top. What is the first and most important thing we assumed about Michael then and now? Where, where are you going with this? That, that he was dead, but why do we believe it? Why? Because Sonny heard a gunshot when Faith took the phone away from Michael. And because of that picture. Neither of those things qualify as actual truth, The picture truth, showed Jason? up in the pocket of the hitman who shot Faith. Sam, we, we just figured it was one of our enemy's signatures. All right, well then, for the sake of argument, let's just say that it wasn't. Why would someone send a photograph of Michael dead to the people who love him the most? Cruelty? Or did they want us to believe that Michael was dead? I almost deleted this picture. I just, I don't, I don't like knowing it's here. Well, Jason, it's awful. <sighs> Whether it's real or staged, it is a hateful image. Okay. We're gonna go back to where we started. We're gonna keep looking for something that proves... proves Michael isn't dead. Anything? I've been staring at this picture so long, I've got such a headache. Oh, it's really hard to look from like that. No, I just, I, I'm trying to look at what's around Michael. You know, not his, his face or his eyes or... Well, you know, there was always so much going on in his eyes. You could tell exactly, exactly what he was feeling. <sighs> you know, they say the eyes are a window to the soul. In Michael's case, I think that was certainly true. Yeah, wait, maybe... maybe. Maybe Michael's eyes can still tell us something. Look at look at that right there. You see that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Michael's eyes aren't closed all the way. Right there. Look at his pupils. They're not dilated. Jason, I don't, I don't know what that means. It means Michael's still alive. <laughs>